Hey, my name is Rebecca. I'm the owner and chef here at Bistro 7 in Brantford, Ontario. A little bit about it myself is, one, I'm a mom of seven. I've been a vegan for about 20 years. And I have my master's in sports nutrition, kinesiology, and personal training. And my passion is feeding the body good food. And I'm here to help guide you on your path to a plant-based eating. I went through um, the library books at the Brantford Public Library and a few that I found that would be very helpful uh, to you guys is The Fast, Easy, Cheap Vegan, Vegan Everything, 15 Minute Vegan, and The Flexitarian. Um, they're very easy to follow simple uh, food products that you can use. Another thing when I first started out with um, doing a vegan diet is I went on YouTube. There's a lot of YouTubers, you just type in vegan quick meals, um, healthy guide, and there's so many. One of my favorite ones is the edgy veg and cheap lazy vegan. There's so many options out there nowadays um, that it should make it very easy for you. My go-to for getting books besides the library here is I go to the dollar store. So I check out, um, I went to the dollar store and I found uh, food is the solution. And there's so many like about chickpeas and lentils and how uh, veganism and even eating plant-based one day a week is really helping the environment. Um, to me, it's important about environment and about uh, fueling your body uh, with healthy food. Another one that I use as a go-to guide uh, for my kids is the best homemade kids snacks on the planet. And they're very, uh, very easy to follow, very simple. You can use wraps, uh, apples, peanut butter, carrot, whatever your kids really like there is a recipe in here. And honestly, all the books that I do check out, I just use them as your go-to guide. If you don't like something in it, throw something else in it, um, whatever kind of food that you like. Another one that I use here is Vegan Cupcakes Take Over the World. I found throughout the years, I've tried a lot of recipes that were fails for vegans. And these ones in this recipe book, all of them are really easy, uh, really easy ingredients to get at your grocery store. You don't have to order online. You can just go to Metro, Sobeys. Goodness Me is really good, and Walmart has a lot of uh, vegan products nowadays too. Let's see what else. So uh, easy tips for new vegans. Um, if it doesn't say vegan on it or has a logo, don't use it. Um, a lot of plant-based products now state that they're plant-based and it does have animal derivative in them, so they're not vegan. So if you are gonna take the path of veganism, you're just really gonna have to read your products or look for the certified vegan. Plant-based is for plant-based, it could have animal in it. Either products is really good to uh, try. Um, don't get overwhelmed, it's easier than you think. Try new things, try new items. Honestly, just create something yourself um, instead of following any cookbooks if you feel it's easier for you. I use Google all the time. Um, I'm always Googling stuff. I use Amazon to buy products. Uh, mix it up, add variety. Um, I use a lot of sauces and spices. A lot of people think about veganism and think it's just like a square block of tofu. 20 years ago, yes. Nowadays, you have Beyond Meat, Impossible Burgers. You have the Gardein line, which is really amazing. Um, go to stores that have a lot of vegan products, like I said, Goodness Me, Zares, Walmart, Sobeys, and Metro. Metro is one of my favorite stores to go to. Um, a lot of multivitamins people don't know about when it comes to veganism. I use Herbalife. I actually, um, I don't take a lot of vitamins because I do get a lot of vitamins and nutrients from my smoothies, from the food that I eat, but if you feel like you need to top up on vitamins um, periodically, then Herbalife vitamin line is really good. 
Uh, regardless of your diet, incorporate vitamins is a great idea. Use your resources like library, YouTube, Google, makes it easier. Some of the veganize your favorite meals and snacks. So the good vegan products that I really enjoy for um, cheese is Daya, Vegan Gourmet or Viola Life. Milk substitute, substitutes is uh, silk uh, vanilla almond milk. The silk creamer is really, really good. Um, I use it here at the eatery. I do my iced coffees. Yeah, it's maple syrup and it's really tasty. Ice cream for ice cream lovers, there's Daya Soul. Yogurt, it would be Daya is the best, I think. Breadline for gluten-free uh, vegan is, my go-to is Odo. Odo line is really, really good. Um, it's really moist even after you toast it. You can leave it in your freezer, your fridge. It has a good shelf life, especially if you leave it in the fridge. Protein and mock meats. I love chickpeas, lentils, kidney beans. Um, all, all beans are really, really good. My go-to stores are Metro. Um, in the frozen section, you can find gluten-free vegan pierogies. A lot of people don't know about that, and they are uh, the best gluten-free vegan pierogi I have tasted. I've tried a few. I've made my own. It does take a long time, so I'm just trying to maybe ease your way into it. So if you want to try them out before you make them, it's probably best go to Metro uh, and get the gluten-free vegan pierogies. Sobeys, the Superstore in Simcoe um, has an amazing selection as well. Goodness Me and the No Frills on Coburn Street for um, the best price point and they have a huge selection of vegan products. Online, I go to Amazon and uh, Compass Food, which is Canadian. Compass Food is, you can get keto products, vegan, gluten-free. It's a really, really good online store. Another suggestion that I would say is to do meal prep. Even if it's a few days in advance, um, it'll make transferring over uh, easier uh, than just trying to um, do it all at once. I found when I did meal prep uh, in the beginning, it was way easier because I would come home, I'd work 12 hour shifts and I'd be starving and I wouldn't know what to eat. So I would rather have my meals um, prepared. I hope my video will help you into the next chapter of your healthy lifestyle, plant-based or even vegan once or twice a week. Um, it will really help your body immensely and the planet. Thanks very much for watching my video. And honestly, if you have any other questions, feel free to contact me at Bistro7 uh, on Facebook. And I'll be happy to answer any questions uh, you may have. Take care of yourself, be healthy and be kind.